decided we were going to do it, you know, I was going to start racing. So I didn't start until I was 17. Uh, went and bought a car and my dad bought the motor. That's how it all started. Mom wasn't too happy about it, but that's how we did it. going to races uh, when I was a kid. My dad helped out a guy that uh, raced at Ready Fairgrounds, um, but I didn't go at that time. He helped out Junior Mike Oz. Um, they raced at Reading, and then when I started going, they were racing at Grand New Speedway, which is right up the road from me here, and uh, Penn National Big Diamond at the time. So I went along, you know, went to the stands. My dad was on the crew for many years helping out, and that's how I got my, you know, got interested in racing. Uh, it's very important. I mean, we all, um, you know, my dad helps me out a lot here at the shop, so we get to spend a lot of time together. Uh, you know, my wife, you know, and son, they're out here helping me rip the car apart on Sundays and, you know, some nights and getting ready to go again. So we do, it's a lot with the family. I mean, they're all there at the, every week at the races. My, my mom goes once in a while to races, and then my mother in law, she's there every week too. Uh, they help out in the, in the pit. She sets up a whole tailgate thing for her, so the crew has food and everything. and. Uh, I have two cousins also that help out on the crew too, so I mean, there's a lot of family involved um, with racing. And my grandfather used to come a lot and spend a lot of time going to races and working on the car with us too. So it's been family oriented for quite a few years. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, I, I did run Bridgeport, you know, when I started racing in sportsman division and, uh, you know, got to feel the speed of the track and everything, but once I moved up to the big block division, the car just uh, it throws you back in the seat a lot more, and the speed you carry entering the corners is so much, uh, so much greater. You know, it's uh, it's definitely a thrill, especially when when the track's got a lot of bite in it. You're out there running, you can run wide open without even lifting, and we think that's insane. I mean, you see pictures of the cars at Bridgeport entering turn three, and all four tires sometimes come off the ground there because there's a little bit of a hump where the trucks come across. Um, so it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat experience. And since you've been racing, it, it, is it cool to you that that is something that your dad loves to do so much that you get to do with him, and that he gets to coach you along? Yeah, he likes to like watch me win. He likes to um, he likes to do the stuff on my car and stuff.